I bring my woman to come and meet me in France. Yes, you use your gula to knock him. Oloko dogi dogi. And your kule and your lower slams from our boss. King Wasiu and Dimasha in the ongoing saga of bitter relationship of Onilu Ati Olori. Hello everyone, you're so much welcome. It's not yet over in this saga as this week just be somehow. Portable versus eh, Bobriski, Eniola versus Lege Miami, Dayamusa versus Jigon, Dayo versus Femi Adebayo's wife, everything just be. This end of March, eh? Make a match finish. Maybe we go get peace. It's been a lot. Despite this, the attention is still on King Wasia and Dimasha and it's somehow drama and your Kunle. Who, after you know the interview he granted at Ballet to TV, um, King Wasia and Dimasha came out on Good Minds TV platform to also you know react to it, letting us have insight about how he runs his music dynasty empire and all of that. In it, he said, Ayokuli has always been troublesome. Then I they give him problem pass. See, is it faulty for him to always receive him back after he don't run commots? Say, no be say, she no be say in good art, don't they malfunction for him like this and all of that. Even talk say, Ayokuli no sabi read the right at all. So, Ayokuli decided to react to say, eh, you won't drag me. Because I know talk finish. If I open my mouth, talk finish. Now you go tire. Now here your kule to come out. Ah! And your kule drag was you. Hi! And your kule drag was you. The dragging, eh, my people. You know, be here, oh. In fact, the dragging and the exposition. We fear go the cash person say, eh? Hey? So these plenty things, they happen like this. How we go do this one like this? How did this, how did we get here? Are this if, if a series of events going to ever end at all? My people, I would like you to hear from the mouth of Ayokule himself. Spanish you want some bed. Oh, so you both. If you do what you if you do or a you So, because you don't come to you both. Anyway, let them know you will My friend, I don't tell. I got a bag, you saw you. And then, no, no, you shall. We'll talk about my friend, or to know what I'm here, 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 otonu
so o je bo je to ba de tun wo e ko ti jade wa gbe mi na nile ye mo ni so fun o my people she na here okay for our non yoruba friends here what is saying is that was you is some my boss di tata ta with his girlfriend where he and your kunle carry go france i don't know as i do i go interpret eh uh, oloko dogi dogi i don't know that interpretation of that one but what it means literally is that eh uh, when somebody you no know, get control you be saying now every woman he dey knock eh uh -huh. think say i don't interpret it like that so um of course this has caused a lot of reactions online and let's take a few comments somebody said um this man is saying the truth and people knew he's saying the truth but they keep hiding it it is well um somebody else said hey joseph mufe bini shelo tony was you naki ya woba ah somebody else said this man owns self too much another said when he's speaking out now you are saying this uh you are saying his own is too much abi is it until you hear or see rip on his picture you all are so problematic another said to have courage to challenge what you are in means you be man enough another person said this man is handsome sha ah the button another said can this man just keep quiet another said eh uh -huh, i said it a woman must be involved this is the cocoa of the matter another person said you are gradually passing your boundary oh, oh, no, 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 no. another said hmm how we go concert to this matter like this where are the agbagba that can call these two men and settle their differences this is not looking nice more revelation revelation go come out from this thing like this so hmm another person said ah this is not looking good at all everybody knows say was you go just they use women they dump them but why he can't go the knack the girlfriend of his band member that one go already bring great disrespect now uh -uh. another person said mm, they don't resemble themselves Another said, "Iru kile yo omani for woshe with laughing emoji." Okay, so those are the few comments we can take now. Um, like I said earlier, this is not looking very good, and this is like o tesimeloju mo tesieloju kind of thing. And while it's never justifiable for um, an employee or an ex-employee to be rude to um, the boss, there are some situations that has gone beyond repair so to speak or has gone so bad this instance is an example um somebody spending 32 years and feeling this disdain this kind of being overpowered or intimidated is not a good thing and this would be a lesson to all of us that maybe we are we are an elder sibling today or maybe we are the owner of our businesses or we are the boss of our company or whatever. There's just a thin line between that and disrespect though. A tiny thin line because hmm, if we are not watchful with our conduct, our Moshe can test you very badly. Um, now for this man, what this man has said, for those of us that have been following this story bumper to bumper, Apart from the Agbale to TV, there's been other blogs that have been doing um, this story as well. And somebody has actually called into a show. And um, the person said this thing that Mr. Ayokunle said that um, was you, ta ta ta, um, Ayokunle's babe. And we're like, ah, can this be true? So now Ayokunle coming out to say it himself shows that oh boy you see that name Baba or anybody you or what the young people scatter scatter, but Yoruba we say Agba oni tolori le. Um, Agba could mean somebody of course who is well advanced in age than was you and um, Ayokunle, or it could even be somebody who is just respected, or who has emotional intelligence that can, you know, um, intervene in this matter. So I would I would just like to make a case to be like, hmm, it's easy to damage something. 
I'm not saying that your colleague doesn't have the right to talk. Be cool, let him talk. He should talk as long as he's not lying. As long as he's saying the truth, he should speak. Mubad, shout, 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 shout. What's the end them? May his soul rest in peace. So we don't learn our lesson. Say somebody is coming out and giving situations, instances of what it happened. We have the right to listen to the person as well. And the person who is being accused also has the right to sit down and say, okay, on this one, this is what I did. On this one, this is what I did not do. On this one, this is what I did not do. Because this man don't swear with drums, say, that if he's lying, a young girl should do whatever it wants to do with him. And Uncle Wasil the shape. And Uncle Wasil's uh, uh, what should I say response did not address these issues that this man has raised. With all due respect. With all due respect, he didn't he didn't, he didn't this man made points. Okay, we go finish show. They go say make we off our clothes where we never wash, make we put down for Ghana must go, they will carry and go. Why? Why? Is it a laundry service? So King Wasio has the right to also tell us his own side of the story. He said they did 46 shows between October and 1st of January, one year like that. And he was given 370000 for the whole 46 shows. Is it true? Is there a contract that said this is how much they are going to collect? Did he fall short of it? He's supposed to be defending facts. Sentiment, sentiment. Somebody said, okay, you stole my bag. Right? You're supposed to give evidence of how and where I stole your bag. So it's just clear common sense. So Nisi, Nisi, and your galuti wa yari kon lekwe, you have to ten yaka nyaka on Wasi's face. En yak bagba te kuluri le te le ni audience pe lu king Wasi wa indi masha and have an audience with your kule. Please step into this matter. Um, resolution is always the best thing to do because this will get messier. Because King Wasi doesn't have good reputation with women. For even with the women he marries, we know how it is. He has done that to about 10 women already in his lifetime. He will marry them. He will marry them. He will marry them. And when he's done using them, he will dump them like a... When you don't finish drinking orange, the way you could drop the skin. Now so he use women. People will no reach Passam, we no get name Passam. Even if they want to marry another one, no problem. Oh yeah, wife one, do you be doing your own? Wife two, be doing your own. At least your religion gives you, even if you want to marry more than four. As long as you are not relegating really anyone to the background. So, okay, Uncle Wasu, you, you have another interview to do with a uh, good mind, no? because you have a big name, you have a big brand. This is not looking good. It's not looking good. And the truth of the matter is, if everybody is seeing you as a good person and you're not really a good person, one day, Kasala go bust. If you're really a good person and everybody is seeing you as a bad person, one day, the truth will come out. So, Uncle Wasil, do a better PR in uh -huh. public relations because people are not talking nicely about you. If you see comments on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook about this, you'll be like, eh? Ah, if you are close to us, you or you can speak to him, you tell him, Oga, you better adjust. Maybe like this is just God giving you another um, opportunity to do a 360 turnaround for good. Though. What's your opinion? Biko, drop in the comment section below. Be real.